We all know that the pandemic took spring semester for schools by surprise. Fall came around and although we were all fully aware of the coronavirus, getting school started has been anything but easy. It's really difficult not being um, with our students. That said, uh, we want to be with them, but we want to be with them um, safely. Education Minnesota, the teachers union, released results from a survey that asked more than 9,700 of its members how they were doing. 79% of teachers who responded reported feeling stressed, and 73% said they feel overwhelmed. Denise Speck from Education Minnesota says the results were surprising to her, and she's been the president for eight years. The number of educators at this point in the year that want to quit or retire is really unique. You know, we're at the beginning of the school year. This is the time where there's the most excitement. People are energized. They're ready to be back. They're getting um, to know their students and their families. Uh, it's really enjoyable. And uh, to see that many educators wanting to quit this early in the year is really surprising. In fact, 29% of the surveyed teachers said they're thinking of retiring or quitting. We had a teacher shortage before the pandemic, and I'm really worried now that we're in the middle of it, what's going to happen if they do? The survey showed that stress was highest among hybrid or multimodal learning models. Jen Heyer, a teacher in the metro area who concentrates on outdoor learning, is currently teaching in hybrid mode. Mrs. Heyer, how are you feeling? <laughs> I think I think every teacher has has different feelings on that. I am very fortunate to be at a school that embraces outdoor learning right now. And so that has been um, a huge benefit. How can things improve right now? You have to have flexibility all around. There's not one position in the educational system right now that's easy. We need a course correction. We've always said that the learning model that our students and staff are in on day one isn't going to be the learning model we would see on day 45 or even day 60. So we have to expect change and we need to be flexible. And for comfort, Hire offers this as a teacher and a parent herself. I know that my two boys are gonna be great men someday and it's not gonna have anything to do with if they turned their assignments in 2020 in on time or if they didn't. And so when we look at, are our kids gonna be behind? I would say behind what? I asked the union president, Denise, that if she was worried that by the end of this year, if there were gonna be any teachers left, and she says that she's hopeful that things will change, especially if the federal government can step in with the HEROES Act to help schools nationwide with some funding. Hey, Sharon, the nearly 30% of the teachers that were in this survey that said they would considering retiring or quitting, how does that compare to last year? Well, so I asked that exact question, Jana, and Education Minnesota told me that they did this survey in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. So obviously there is no apples to apples comparison, but they did give me another data point to consider. They say that retirement from this year, August to September, so before the school year started, that those numbers were up compared to retirements from August to September of 2019. All right, Sharon, thank you so much.